This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast, where CEOs, C-suite, and senior level executives share their advice. It's six questions in nine minutes because the best leaders know how to share their ideas concisely and quickly. Let's jump right in. Question number one. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. I'm Alex Poon. I have been running a product engineering team in venture-backed startups for the past 10 years. Uh, founded two companies along the way, um, raised uh, over four, uh, $45 million in venture capital, uh, one exit, most recently ran the engineering team at uh, AI Cure, and before that founded uh, X.AI, where I was the, the COO. So then you know one or two things about leading people, I'm going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. With that kind of experience, my guess is yes. Question number two, what's the best thing about leading people from your perspective? I think it's amazing to see uh, the, the impact uh, from, from a group of people coming together, uh, working on a common set of goals, and then seeing how much more they can do working as a team. Yeah, really bringing them together. And I think it's that power when you see them all harnessed together as one, right? That the, the mighty of the, of the group as opposed to the, the individual. Yeah, exactly. And especially seeing them getting to know each other, working, change, change, adapting to each other's style and be able to really just be sometimes be able to not communicate so much because they can they just understand naturally how each other think and how each other work. Mm -hmm. Oh, you kind of remind me of like the an Olympic uh, baton team where they're doing the handoff. Right. And it's like they right. know each other so well. They know exactly where and how and what to do. Um, and no words are ever spoken during that entire process. So yeah, exactly. Cool. Question three, I often hear from other leaders that business would be great if it weren't for that pesky people part. I'm curious, <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? You know, I, I think um, some of those perhaps forget that maybe there won't be a business without the people. <laughs> uh, you know, I think, I think with all the, 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 the money and the technology and data out there, yes, I think people forget that this is actually fundamentally run by people. That it is about it is about the team doing work every day to create the business to begin with. Yeah, and the customers, right? You need them in order to have a business to be able to that, that earns any value, right? So exactly. Um, at, at anywhere you look, you're going to run into another person. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Or yeah, exactly. Fair enough. Um, what other successful business leaders like yourself should be on the podcast? I mean, who else should we be listening to and paying attention to? So I would recommend uh, one of my business school buddies, um, Jason Griffin, who is the uh, co-founder and co-CEO at a company called Site Comply. They are in the property management business, uh, having built a um, building management, building operation software. Uh, been recently or last year got acquired by a, a private equity firm and uh, been voted uh, I think the sort of top 100 places to work by Cranes New York uh, for like five years straight so I think he knows a thing or two also on the, yeah, I'm gonna how to manage so. people. I'm gonna guess so. Thank you for that. It's funny that um, I was just speaking with some um, asset managers and you know, so, some real estate developers who are looking for some more tools in this space. So mm. I'll be excited to meet Jason and hear all about that. Okay. Uh, funny how the universe does that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question number five for you. What piece of advice about communication would you give to other leaders? So you really can over communicate. Uh, I think particularly when you are talking about the company's mission, vision, what are, what are we doing here? Why are we here? I think just at the point of you getting really sick of hearing yourself saying the same thing over and over again, that's the time when your point is just about to get across and mm -hmm. people are actually understanding and hearing what you're saying. So I'm hearing you say repetition then. Very much repetition. Right, and, um, and really kind of understanding more. I think oftentimes I like to say communication is the response you get. So oftentimes I think as you're, you're communicating, are you listening and looking for, are they getting it, right? So to your point, you know, you can't repeat it enough, the what and the why, um, because oftentimes it takes that long to really um, absorb and then to understand in order to take action. Right. Do you yes. see kind of sometimes that time lag between them understanding and them being able to take action on it? 
Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. Communication, it is a two-way two -way street, right? That like, it is you saying something and the other person receiving it. Mm -hmm. And just because you heard yourself, a lot of time, it doesn't mean that the other person heard it or heard 100% of it. Then actually the chances are they heard keywords, key phrases, uh, or within their own context of the world that they make those they heard those keywords and they make their own assumption of what you said. That's they think they heard it, but it's very different than what you said. Uh, and, and that it requires a lot of that back and forth. Like, did you really heard what I said? Mm -hmm. um, to, 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 to see if you have truly communicated. Yeah, and did they interpret it the way that you intended them to, right? So I think, again, it's, it's that kind of piece of, um, are they truly living uh, you know, the messaging or are they in, interpreting it in their own way? And again, with positive intent, but still not hitting the mark with what you're expecting as a leader, right? So it's that kind right. of like the what and the why. I love that. I think that's a big piece of, of what we need to look at with communication is I've often heard from leaders, but I told them, I sent an email, I, I, we had that conversation. And I'm like, you had a whole conversation one time? <laughs> <laughs> and they laugh like that, you know, they're like, ah, oh, so maybe more than once is appropriate. Yeah, maybe once or a hundred times, you know. Exactly. And in, in all different medium, over Slack, over email, in company all hands, individual conversation. Exactly. Same message. Yeah, I'm still telling my 12 year old to say please and thank you, you know, and it's not that it's not <laughs> like it or not kind. It's just that like we all do, we forget or we fall down or whatever. Yeah. We, we're in the same boat uh, teaching my boys. <laughs> <laughs> so then hashtag everything broken in your house, everything's broken in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, magic question number six. Tell us about your favorite boss or teacher. Who really influenced you? So I would say, actually related to the last point, um, Dennis Mortensen who uh, was the, uh, the co-founder of my past two startups that I, that I founded. Um, I think it is incredible to see him uh, communicate, communicate the company's vision and mission with that same intensity, energy, and clarity in every single conversation, uh, from talking to him individually, from seeing him on stage, uh, giving talks, uh, sitting on panels, uh, debating others always kind of bringing that message over and over again to again help communicate uh, and then he's a he's a very real person uh, that like he is uh, um, which makes him actually super entertaining to watch uh, that uh, very much he, he his limited uh, view on boundaries so sometimes we cross the bound, the, the, <laughs> the line slightly bit but makes him super entertaining to talk so if, if you've never seen him talk I would highly recommend checking out one of his one of his, uh, his videos to talk definitely I we will definitely check him out I think again that's kind of the purpose of this whole podcast really is to start to you know there's people all around us who are doing amazing things let's just pay attention right so i think mm -hmm. i could probably change the name of this um this podcast to eyes wide open you know just where it's like <laughs> pay attention to what's happening in your in your backyard in your neighborhoods these are so many people that are doing uh, great things how can we learn from them or better yet how can we continue to do what we do great let them do great and let's partner up you know in some way so that again we all get to invest more time in our strengths you know sort of idea yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being on. Um, Alex, let, let us know, um, how can people find you? Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn or Twitter. Uh, my, my Twitter handle is alexpoon06. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, LinkedIn, you see my face. It's uh, exactly. not, not hard to me. <laughs> well, we'll go find you there. Well, this is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast. For more insights and ideas, please go to www.concilioteam.com. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care.